Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In this video, I'm going to go through quickly the, the new features of the latest update. So let's dive into pro my demo project. This is a, I'm, I'm using data from the restaurants demo, which is just restaurants and then I have reviews for each restaurant and each review, uh, review data sheet is square root based on the value in the data slot which is the restaurant ID data slot here. Anyway, let's go to component restaurant item. And in a, in the new, new latest update, we have added this add property here. So you can quick, quickly create properties here. For example, I can create test property and then by right clicking the property, I can edit it. Test one, two, three, or I can delete it. And that's the way I can create properties easily. And this is handy because now you can have sort of invisible properties that you don't you want to store the restaurant ID in this context in a property, not in a, some kind of a hidden field or field which is dragged outside of the canvas here. So let's create the restaurant ID property here like this. And uh, why did we create this? It was simply that because we want to use it, use that in a save data interaction. But first we have to go to the list item and it, it's a little bit different now than it was. So the, the list item component is in here under nested component and, and the data source is here in element. Anyway, but this is the new part, the data link is for individual properties. So you can set the properties for list item and you can set the state also for each, each list item. Or the, the state is handy if you have a sort of traffic like light thing that you have three states, green, yellow and blue, uh, red. And then you can change the state of the item in a list based on the, the, the data in a data sheet. For example, you have a column called uh, st the status of the order, and then based on that, you can change the state, the, the state in the item. And then here uh, I have the I have the property restaurant ID which I created, and I just want to map the restaurant ID here, and the ID is located in that document key, obviously from the uh, in, a, in, a, in a Firebase database, the ID is in a, in a key. So now this component should have the uh, restaurant ID set and done. And then in the, in the reviews, I want to save this restaurant ID in the data slot. When user clicks this, I, we will save the ID to data slot. So I just select it from here and then we have go to interaction to review screen. And here we have a list which shows the reviews. Let's actually check that the yeah the reviews is actually missing the missing the uh, setting the properties here. I can do it easily by dragging here and then the review text here. I can do the same thing by dragging the. Uh, the the property from from here to here. Anyway, now we can run this in the in the browser. And here we have the app running in the browser. The list is responsive. It changes from grid to list. And if I click reviews here, this screen shows me the reviews for for this restaurant. And this is just a debug label here which shows the restaurant ID from the property, uh, from the data slot. So if I click here it changes the ID and uh, we see different reviews. The same thing here. So that's that's a new new way of uh, setting the the properties and creating properties and and it adds a little bit more control for list and grid element. And let's go to next one, the selector. So, so the selector uh, element, now you can control the selector element based on the 
on the value in a data slot. So this index, which 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 one of these in this case uh, is selected. So we have two two options here. So if you head to the data, I've, I've selected the selected item comes from the data slot. So if I, if if the data slot has value zero, then it will show me show me the first one, and if the value is one, then it shows me the next one here. And in practice, it's so that we have this create project component here, and uh, in a button here, first I just validate that the UI user has set the UI correctly, all the fields have some values, then we save the data, and then we clear the some data slots, and in the fourth fourth one we set the value for data slot. This the same data data slot which is used in a in a selector that it's it's zero. So every time when you create a project, we we go to we, we'll update the UI so that user gets gets to the my projects list here. And in practice, this works. And here we have the app running in a browser. This is a list of list of projects. If I click this create project, I can create new awesome project. This is just great, great project. And add a add an image for the project. And now if I click create project, oh sorry, we need to wait that the upload is finished. And now it's finished. And as you can see, I was the selector updated the UI. And here is our project. So that's the way you can control the, the selector outside from the selector itself. So you don't have to click these. You can just set the data slot value. And other other minor things are you can read it from the change log that there's a bunch of bunch of uh, bug fixes and uh, minor improvements in a, in a usability of the studio. So thank you and uh, see you see you in a in a in a forum and uh, just let us know if you have any thoughts about the new features of the studio. Thank you.